folks welcome back to another video i do a little winter camping tonight uh going out with a few few buddies a few friends and uh gonna do some winter camping it's supposed to be down in the teens tonight so our main goal for tonight is uh get a lot of firewood it's mainly a car camping type thing so we're not doing any backpacking in or anything so we really don't have to pack light so uh my setup for the night is just a bass pro shops tent uh, that i'll show you later when i get set up uh, the MSS sleep system. Uh, I've chosen to go with both bags and, and the Gore-Tex uh, just for some extra warmth, even though I know that I, the black bag alone should be fine, but you know, it's supposed to get pretty cold and the wind is going to be a factor too. So, so we're going to, you know, go out and do a little camping, have some fun, you know, sit by the fire and, you know, practice some skills and stuff. So, maybe do a little shooting later so y'all stick with me and I'll see you here shortly we got camp set up there a little bass pro tent two-man tent tonight we're gonna use getting some wood and stuff for the fire so this is camp Got everybody here. There's six or eight of us here, all at all at camp, I'm gathering some more firewood for tonight because it's going to be another cold night. Got Chance Sanders over there teaching Kaylee how to shoot a bow. Some hammocks way down there in the background you see down there. And this is our camp. Last night it was 19 degrees. So it was pretty cold. All right, I thought I'd do just a little quick little after action review of my trip. Since it was pretty cold, the camera wasn't working very well, so I couldn't get a whole lot of video. So now that I'm back and I got some of the stuff unloaded and everything and trying to, you know, inventory everything, make sure I got everything. I thought I'd just do a quick little video here, tell you what I took with me and tell you some things that, you know, we learned and whatnot. First of all, for sleeping, I had a, um, it's, you can't see it here, but it's over airing out right now. It's, I just had a Bass Pro Shops dome tent, uh, showed two man dome tent, seven by seven for sleeping. Also, I had a, that chose to take the military modular sleep system, MSS sleep system. I'm telling you for the money, you cannot beat that system. Awesome. Awesome. Now I've been in temperatures down to about 25, 26 degrees with just a black bag and was comfortable. But since I didn't know how cold it was going to be with the wind chill and all that stuff, I went ahead and put both bags together. So I have the green, the black, and then the outer bivy, and I stayed very comfortable in there. Under that went a Coleman air mattress. Again, we were just car camping, so we could afford to take it. So I took the Coleman twin air mattress and have a little quick pump back there behind it. Uh, the main blades that I used were the Buck Thug on the left right here and the Mission Knives Chance Sanders Professional. Both of those I'll have a review coming soon. Those were the main two knives that I used for the weekend, really for the overnighter. Uh, right here you can just see a toboggan. I had a heavy coat and I actually had two coats uh, I took just in case. And let's see, had a wool blanket, took my wool blanket as well because, you know, sitting by the fire and stuff, you know, it's nice to have a wool blanket to kind of warm up in. Took my Spec Ops THE pack, and that was that really held my wool blanket and my clothing. And I took extra clothing, took long johns, an extra you know change of clothes, socks and stuff like that. So that was the really the main purpose of of the backpack is to hold my clothing. And then it was, I basically just kind of grabbed and go on the food. Everything that I keep in that backpack, and I'll do a, a loadout review on that backpack later on, but everything I keep in there food-wise is, you know, what I took with me. I really didn't take anything from the house. So it's a good test of the equipment, of kind of a grab-and-go, you know, equipment. 
let's see here. Moving along, I took my uh, survival shotgun, the 12 gauge H&R single shot, just for squirrel hunting. And the last deer, deer season was today. So, you know, if we did see a deer, I could could have shot it, but mainly for squirrel hunting and stuff. My Hidden Woodsman Haversack, and that was already preloaded up from the uh, trip before my squirrel hunting trip. I had everything loaded still in there, so all I had to do was add more hot chocolate and stuff and water. So I took it along for my scouts and stuff throughout the woods throughout the day. Medical kit, and then in the bucket back there, that was mainly a lot of fire stuff in there. I have um, a couple of bow saws, a 21-inch bow saw, 12-inch bow saw, a small little hatchet, uh, some fired up fire starter uh, that you'll see in a separate video, a bunch of fat lighter in there, a little grill grate, you know, stuff like that. And that was really mainly it. And, and I took, you know, extra water, a couple of, you know, liter bottles of water. I took like six of those. But some of the things we learned and some of the things I learned, it got pretty cold, like I said. And especially with the wind, it was really cold. And it is true what people say that if you think you can go out and just have a small little fire overnight and think that's going to keep you warm, that is not the case. Now, granted, we didn't sleep by the fire. And as I said before, we were all kind of spaced out. But we burnt a lot of wood. I mean, you will go through a ton of wood on a very cold night like we were. We were all huddled by the fire. It was a decent sized fire. We could call it a long fire pretty much because it was it was roaring. And it was, we burned a lot of wood. So again, if you're going to do a very cold weather outing, you need to make sure that you have enough wood. If you're going to be camping by a campfire or, or whatnot like that, you know, granted, you know, my sleep system, you know, kept me warm enough in my tent. But on the flip side of that, if we were just doing a tarp camp out, or if we were doing a, you know, backpacking venture or survival trip or whatever, you need a lot of wood. So keep that in mind. Uh, some of the other things, you know, also after you come back from a trip, make sure that you inventory all your equipment, get everything out, lay everything out, you know, service your equipment. The knives especially got a brutal workout this weekend. Uh, the buck thug alone, um, we baton through a huge, um, fat lighter stump. So it got a big workout. So you need to resharpen your knives hone your gear, make sure that the saws and everything that you take with you, you know, make sure they're good and oiled up, sharpened up for your next trip and your firearms, obviously make sure that they're, you know, oiled up, cleaned up and all that stuff. The tent, like I said before, is kind of over off to the left here. You can't see it. It's airing out and drying out because it was wet and I had a tarp under it. So, and so all that stuff is airing out right now before I put it up. You want to make sure everything is serviced and and ready to go for your next outing because the last thing you want to do is get out on another outing and your equipment be moldy or you, you have holes in it or you have a dull knife or rust or something like that so you know service your equipment after you get back and get everything ready for the next trip so anyway hope this was a nice quick little video for y'all and i appreciate y'all watching and your views and your support and your comments and i'll see you on another outing real soon thanks for watching